he's really good or I'm late, he's gonna answer. Here, here. We're not dead yet, but we're getting closer to danger, right? And now he's in a good position where he can look to off balance me and go straight into leg locks. So from here, I have to act fast. First and foremost, I never want my second leg close to him here. If he can grab both feet, I could be a 10 time world champion, but if he's even half decent, he's gonna put me on my butt here because I can't step this leg out in balance. So I need, right away when I acknowledge that it's, it's too late, I wanna back my second leg down and I wanna lean a little bit forward here. If I'm leaning back, when he lifts his hips and turns his knee out, I go down the twist sweep pretty damn quick. But if I lean my head a little bit forward here, when he twist sweeps, I can back step a little and I can stay in the pocket. I want my knee facing forward here. If my knee faces too much this way, here, it's easy for him to tilt my hip to the mat. Okay, so that's not good. Well, what's even worse, if my knee's facing this way, because then he can start to breathe me and he's directly into the powerful heel. So if I have to choose between my knee pointing this way, pointing this way, I want it pointing away. Okay, I'll, I'd rather go down and have a chance to fight down on the mat than just going directly into a leg lock. So we're here, somewhat head over head, leg back, I'm putting some weight down here. What I want to look to do first is I want to get this foot off my hip. So if he's a little bit loose with the feet, what I can do is I can take the inside of my hand here and I can put it right here in the sole of his foot. So thumb on one side, four fingers on the other. This is called an arch grip. From here, I can strip the foot off. And now, as long as his foot's not there, there's no reaps, there's no twist sweeps, okay? He can transition into other stuff. So once we get the foot off, we want to move right away. But the immediate submission danger is gone. Look, pop the hips, go here, strip it off. Now, the real danger, what's really making your scout work is not this leg, it's this leg right here. A good tight hook here will help him balance me and keep me in his guard until he gets this leg back for next guard. So this is the leg I'm really concerned about. But if he's good, I'm not gonna go to this for free. So I have to deal with this one first, down here. Now what I'm gonna look to do is I'm gonna post on his shin as close to his foot as I can, lean my head over, and pummel my leg to his hip here. Okay, so, see here. I need to take weight off this foot. I go here. If this hook is tight, he's gonna follow me. So I push it down, lean my weight in here, and look, lift, pommel to the hip. And now we're in passing scenarios. If he keeps holding on here, I'm gonna embarrass him. So he has to frame out, go back to this kind of stuff, and we're passing. So uh, let me see if I can demonstrate the high step solo. So I'm pushing. I'm pushing the foot off the hip. I'm pushing on the shin so he doesn't have a full sticky hook here. Look, I take my head over here, over this foot, I lift, I swim my foot to the hip. One more time. Make sure you're in a good posture here. Lean forward, one leg back, one leg forward, knee pointing straight forward, here. If this one is tight, use your other hand. One, two. Now I push on the shin and look at my head. Goes over my right foot, I lift my hip, and I swim my feet here, my foot here. So it goes over and across. See, now both his feet are outside my hips, and I'm in on the pass. He's holding on here. It's gonna be a fun day for me. Now from here we can look to start guard passing, okay? So let's practice this. If I see some common errors, I'll walk around and help you. Let's look to strip the foot. High step, pommel, and work our pass. On free, one, two, three.